Philippians is a favorite. It tops the list of many people's favorite books of the Bible or favorite letters of Paul. Why? Well, it's short, that helps. It's easy to understand, for the most part. And it's happy. A letter written with a positive attitude, encouraging positive thinking and virtuous behavior on behalf of its readers. What's not to like? I hope you enjoy reading this letter. At least try to notice individual passages or verses that offer the sort of encouragement and affirmation that makes the letter famous. But theologians pay the most attention to one particular part of the letter, the passage called the Christ Hymn in Philippians chapter 2. This section has been very important for Christian doctrine. It is one of the key passages in the Bible from which we get the notion that the man Jesus was actually God come to earth in human form. Apart from doctrine, however, the Christ hymn is simply a remarkable poem, beautifully composed and rhetorically effective. And Paul's point in quoting it is not actually to teach doctrine, but to encourage an attitude. If God became a human being for our sake, we should also be willing to humble ourselves for the sake of others. So that is what the happy, positive letter is ultimately about. Encouraging humility, a generous attitude toward other people.